What's good everybody? Welcome back to my channel. I'm Zamir from XCC Tunes. In this video, I'm going to show you guys how to use SSL 2 Plus interface loopback feature to record your audio from Cubase to OBS. All right, so let's get started. Okay, before you do all of these configuration, you have to make sure you install the latest driver. So you just go to Google and type SSL 2 loopback and you're going to get this link just click on it and you can download the firmware updater and also the latest driver make sure these both are installed and if you're using mac os use these steps and if you're using windows use these steps All right so once you have installed that when you go to cubase you go to studio go to audio connection and if you go to outputs, if you have set up your control room, you, it's not going to be connected. So you have to go to control room. I've, I've already enabled the loopback, so I'm going to show you guys how to do it. I'm going to go here and remove this loopback. Okay, so I'm going to add a channel. Add monitor. And I'm going to name this loopback. Hit it. Okay, I'm gonna select solid state logic and you can see that it's already written here as loop back left and right. So once you have this set up, okay, you have to go to OBS, okay. So first you have to go right click here and click on add, go to audio input and type in loop back or whatever you want and then hit okay. I've already got that so the loop back is here and you have to go to the loop back channel. You have to click on this and go to properties and select loopback SSL 2 plus USB audio device okay now we want two tracks to be recorded simultaneously one is the recording from the mic and the other one is the recording from Cubase okay so how do we do that I'm glad you asked go to settings go to output go to recording and then you select audio track one or two you can actually have as many tracks you want but right now I only choose one and two one for Cubase audio the other one is for my mic okay and the reason why I can't check any of these right now is because I'm recording but if you're not recording you can check here okay so once that is done let's go back to Cubase so I'm gonna play something with my contact library here Let's check if my audio from Cubase is being recorded or not. So I'm going to go to OBS and I'm going to press my keyboard and you can hear it. There's no latency. Okay. So these are real cool features that we can use to record audio from Cubase straight to OBS without any latency. So that's it for today guys. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you guys in the next video.